So I think initially when I was younger and in my early teens, I relied on my mum quite a bit um, to make sure that I always had enough of my inhalers and my medications. Um, I wanted to go out a lot with my friends and I always had my mum there sort of making sure I was okay. Um, and I wanted that independence. I was getting to the age where I was going to college and I wanted to be able to go out on my own. And I think it was making sure I would have my reliever with me. My friends knew how bad my asthma could be. So it was also making sure that they were at ease that um, they knew what to do if I had an attack. And I think making sure that I took my preventer every day, I did finally realise that actually, if I took that every day, which took 30 seconds in the morning, that I wouldn't need my reliever as much and I would be able to manage my symptoms and just get on with life as a teenager, to go out with my friends and do what I wanted, to be able to go to college, look at going to uni. And I think there was a time when I wasn't massively compliant and I didn't, I didn't think, you know, because my symptoms were quite bad, I didn't think my, relief, my preventer made much difference. So I think, well, what's the point? Um, and then it, I was sort of told that if I didn't take it, I wouldn't be able to go to uni, I wouldn't be able to move away from home. So, you know, I, I got on board, took it, went to my reviews, listened to what was being told to me, um, and it worked. My symptoms were, were better, I wasn't waking up as much at night, I was able to go out, do all the things that people my age were doing, and if I did need my inhaler once or twice, it wasn't wasn't a big deal. I could take a couple of puffs of my sabutamol and be absolutely fine.